Uh, mate, lately there's been a lot of the uh, uh, stuff going on. Sony's PlayStation beers, mate, I've already had a go of that. Apple's really crazy expensive thing that just makes you go, oh gosh, I'm never gonna spend that on a set of goggles. And of course, uh, uh, the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was cheap. My ever since I was a little kid, the idea of just entering another virtual dimension was just it seemed like peak sci-fi. And to prove that to you, mate, we're going back to 1995. <laughs> Ew! Look at its horrible dystopian nightmare that's in store for us with VR. <laughs> My favorite small detail here is Goodwill thrift books and then i actually picked this up off another like secondhand place this guy's just been slipping down the hill until it found its way to me boy am i glad that it did but i bought this just on the front cover alone and then to find that it's actually kind of chunky so let's see what people were excited about in vr land back in 1995 <laughs> doing business in cyberspace that sounds really fun actually i can't wait for part 11. Uh, okay like how to use the 3d glasses i know everyone's just gonna freak out someone has stolen the technology. Don't you tell me they're just pieces of rubbish made out of cardboard that you just put on your face and it's all just kind of like an illusion. This is dangerous technology on the loose. Uh, oh gosh, my eye! <laughs> Ew, is this VR? I don't want to do it anymore, mate. Welcome to virtual reality. Imagine being inside your favorite video game. Ah, it's a green screen. Have we been cut and cropped into this? None, none of this is happening. Watch out for Vernus the dragon. What? Who introduced themselves? How did you learn that? You can really get into virtual reality with the right gear. Just like the girl in this composite illustration. Yeah, the right gear indeed. Off to space with your helmet. I want to really laugh at this, and I will. <laughs> it looks terrible. But mate, back in 95, this would have been... Ew, what's this? As seen in this composite photo of a virtual hockey game. You can be the star goalie. Got no equipment on, just catching... What are they, ice cream sandwiches? Or is that a baked potato? If that was a baked potato, I'd be making that face trying to get them too. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I'm fully clothed, standing on the ground, being comfortable, and ah, oh, it's a... Actually, quite adorable shark, actually. <laughs> I, with the most blunt-looking teeth I've ever seen. Here's how virtual reality differs from real life. I mean, I don't know, this is looking pretty real. Especially this cutie here. It allows you to control things that happen around you. That's the look of someone in control. This is a composite photograph. All oh, right, yeah, I mean, it's not actually the software. <sighs> They're not selling this very well to me. When virtual reality began, the time virtual reality was not actually used until the 1980s. And that's actually surprising. I didn't know it was that old. But the idea of using computers to create other worlds has been discussed since the 60s. Back when the space age was the microwave. Wow, look, it's a car and it turns into a tiger. This is actually awesome. Like, yeah, World War I trainer thing. And like, Tom Scott's done videos on like old simulator things so yeah like vr machines for like army air force all that they've been around for a long time oh cool a headache machine yeah that's for the the crappy glasses which someone's stolen <laughs> soldiers can train for ground fighting in a vr simulation oh no 2d tanks and two guys it's just the same guy copy pasted twice and it's the same stinking helicopter and the same stinking building and again what is this csgo <laughs> uh yeah air force training simulators and things like these would be super legit i mean the graphics are heaps funny like totally worth laughing at i mean it was 1995 but yeah the the actual proper simulators there you go like that's their idea of a simulator where maybe the graphics are kind of crappy but the fact that the whole thing moves and creates that real immersion that's that's why they were good training aids even back then Ooh, the first vr systems the first system that used vr technology was called the virtual cockpit the virtual cockpit allowed pilots to pretend they were flying an airplane without ever leaving the ground in the real world Ew! Ew! Is this the real world? Oh, I'll now go back to V- No, no, not V- No! Oh, the, ent the entire universe is terrifying. Making sense of what's real. Well, you're not helping me here, guys. Like, what's happening? It's just ears and hands and eyes everywhere. Sight, touch, and hearing of valuable senses in a baseball game. Wait, wait! <laughs> you can trick your senses by playing virtual golf, as in this composite photograph. Mate, you fooled me big time. I'm glad they got into, like, the, the proper attire and all the kit to fool us. And, like, hang on. What? Why do they have to draw in the flag and the flagpole themselves? Have they just broken onto a golf course before they opened and just got, oh no, there's no flag, mate. Oh, we'll, just, we'll just take a photo and put it in later. I don't like it. Virtual reality equipment. Look at all this fully sick VR gear, mate. <laughs> Out of control. I'd actually love this full-size F1 looking thing, although it would be crap by today's standards. Whoa, that's a handsome helmet. <laughs> that looks good. And I can just make out that logo. That's Silicon Graphics. They made like the most crazy high-powered 3D capable computers back then. It's what Toy Story was made 
made on. I believe it's what Jurassic Park was made on. Forgive this manky looking screen, mate. She was serious biz. Oi! That's our super soldier from the front. What happened? Who did this to you? <laughs> Night view. And it what's this? They just garbled it, made an alien. <laughs> Oh yeah, now we're talking. Everyone's got one of these in their lounge rooms. <laughs> the Cybertron TM is a three-dimensional cage for a whole body experience. Glad they trademarked that, mate, because they're everywhere nowadays. A doctor studies a computerized x-ray. This isn't VR. He's just doing his job. Oh, free headache here if you want it. <laughs> Fooling your fingers is one of the hardest obstacles for VR developers. And like, I'm looking at this guy going, okay, is this interpretive dance? No, it's a harp. <laughs> I want to see him play the harp, damn it. I want that handsome TV set as well. That's baller. Whew, man, this guy looks like he's all partied out. Virtual architecture. Look at this Santa Monica, California. Is just, it's, th I'm there. I'm absolutely there. And th the one resident. Oh man, so many free headaches. <laughs> Oh, if this doesn't sell the age, look at that Apple logo. Like, this is OS 8 or something. This is ancient. And they're cheating. Look, the, the image is peeling out past the UI to make it look even cooler. Hang on. Look at this. Did they literally take this screenshot the very moment it kicked over from minute three to four? I hope so, because the timing involved is unbelievable. Look, I know in 1995 this would have been amazing, especially with some really crappy goggles on or something. <laughs> I don't know how much you can learn from this. Virtual home improvement. <laughs> Designing or remodeling a kitchen is a lot easier with VR. Just make it look like The Simpsons, where it's just solid colors everywhere. If it, at Mars? At Mars? I don't like it. I love these stoves in the corner and that there's no fume hood above it. Like, to, you know, take all the, the fumes away and the smoke and whatnot. They nailed it. It is a lot easier with VR. Just leave out half the important stuff. You know that you can't be in two places at once. Don't tell me what I can and can't do, mate. That's right, with VR, you can be standing like a dork in someone's field and be standing like a dork in your own home. As in this interactive project called Virtual Cities, a student can plan cities of the future. Yeah, just put this giant kind of mansion that's the size of a shrub. There. And uh, let's go for a second one. <laughs> Traveling in different realities by phone. Phone lines are quickly becoming the most important way to get an information from one place to another. The dot com boom hasn't happened yet. This whole like idea of the, the internet and everyone being connected, so new still. So look, mate, internet's like magic, hey? It's just all the memes like just spraying out into the open. Phone calls will soon be replaced with video calls. And they were, to the disdain of a lot of us introverts. <laughs> so and so is video calling you. Oh, why can't it just be audio? I like how this teacher just doesn't want to hear anything that she has to say. Don't you say it again. Is peanut butter made out of peanuts and butter? Oh, mate, we're doing business in cyberspace. Companies everywhere find the idea of doing business in cyberspace fascinating. Yep, look at this crappy piece of rubbish. The Insanity Virtual Car is a combination of race car and luxury car. How? How is it a combination? <laughs> wow, look at the interior. <laughs> it's so luxurious. I could barely make it out. It's so dark. Oh gosh, now that's a free headache, isn't it? <laughs> Where's the net? How far away is the net? How small are these people? Why is there no one here? Like you can create a virtual world full of anything and then they choose not to. <laughs> you can even change into a reptile in virtual reality. What are these? They're just smatterings of just shapes and things colored the same puke green and just black. You can play hacky sack in a virtual park. <laughs> Okay, like two sides of the coin here. Mate, you can change your figure to just be something you couldn't even comprehend. Or you can kick a bag of sand around. <laughs> in cyberspace, you and a friend can make a cat cradle, just like the two players in this composite photo. This is a fake composite photo, and all you can imagine is two Muppets playing with string. Just don't forget the real world. Well, it's hard not to when all the crap you got planned is better in real life. This is something this book keeps talking about. It's like, you could even enter your favorite video game. I don't remember Monkey Power Banana Surprise being one of my favorite games ever. This looks like some crap, like, interactive game show, right? So, yeah, like, for TV or something. This isn't a game. These games are only fun if you actually jump up for real prizes. It's not like you're in Donkey Kong or Sonic or something. Virtual reality today and tomorrow. But big question all of this is, when will it happen? A lot of it's happening today. Uh, basically saying that you gotta go to the mall and find an arcade and put on one of their crazy helmets. I mean, if only they'd know that in like 2023, it is still not mainstream at all. It's super fun, I love it. And yeah, like it's it's gaining in spades. It's, it's doing really, really good. It's still nowhere near mainstream. You're still asking people to put crap on their head. Oh gosh, these headaches. 
for what to see a spaceman on a motorbike and a spaceman hang gliding in space near a pyramid. Oh god, and this hurts my eyes as well. You'll be able to create your own world with virtual reality programs. If this is the world that it makes, mate, I don't want to visit it. 20 years ago, calculators cost almost a thousand dollars. Today, they cost as little as two bucks. That is true. That like, There was the calculator wars and they got it down to nothing. It was actually pretty crazy. Yeah, when VR becomes more affordable, it's, it's still really expensive. And mercifully, it's over. We'll find you! We'll get this back! That's VR in 1995. If you thought the front cover was terrifying, boy, did it get worse. And well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Two tanks for patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Because, mate, one dollar a month, I do it to videos. So I extra videos on garbage time, my car thing, and the drum thing, which is my drum thing. I swear I'm making videos for it. And, mate, now on Float Plane, I, I do, like, drum streams. Frank's there. Uh, but, like, one buck extra. Speaking of favorite games, mate, uh, I'm going to play Sanic on the Switch for you. Oi, make this VR, hey? Hey? This would be one of my favorite games. And mate, I'll see you next time. Frank's gonna shed soon. Look how dark she is. And look, she's got blue eyes. She's literally blind at the moment. She has no eyelids. Those are scales over her eyes. And as the two layers separate, the old one and the new one, there's like fluid in between. It's kind of gross. And uh, that's what that is. So yeah, go get him, Frank.